Episode 5 left on a light cliffhanger as I would like to say, and they didn't give us much of a teaser but they certainly gave us something to talk about in terms of the chess game that's begun, and they've said make your move and nobody is safe. So I'm talking all my thoughts on episode 5 and I'm discussing Tariq's chess game and maybe even a couple of death predictions. Welcome back to MovieBot and let's talk episode 6. So hopefully all of you have seen episode 5 by now because we're at the halfway point in the first season of book 2 and I'm going to do a full recap and review of the first 5 episodes maybe at the end of the week because there's so much to talk about with the storyline so it's going to be a usual week where I'll be breaking down key storylines, discussing your theories and comments and I may do a Q&A on the first 5 episodes as well. So if you actually have any questions that you want me to answer then drop them down below. I'll be doing a video at the end of the week or over the weekend answering all your questions and theories. So be sure to drop me your questions, comments and theories and I'll be sure to do a Q&A video soon. But before I talk about episode 6, I wanted to give my thoughts on episode 5 and I do have to say I did enjoy it. I never saw the twist coming at the end where McLean and Sack shook hands on a deal. I never thought these two would ever be working together but... I do have my doubts on this one and I'm going to be talking about it later on in more detail this week when I break down key storylines. So I'll be talking about whether McLean is actually playing sax and whether this deal is basically legit. But this episode was a real solid episode, book 2 was always going to start slow, you can't just expect a bloodshed every episode, there's always going to be filler episodes, especially at the beginning of a new show, especially when there's a lot of new characters to introduce, it's just a shame that we have to wait 2 months for the next 5 episodes, but it will go quick, December will be here before we know it, and we've got a lot to talk about over the next few weeks anyway, so hopefully these next few weeks go quick. But with that being said, let's talk a bit about episode 6, because they never gave us a proper teaser or a promo, and I assume they'll be doing this closer to the time, which is December the 6th, when the episode is is airing as a way of building up to it so when they do release something of course I'll break it down right away and upload a video when they do give us a teaser but they did give us a chess teaser and you guys know I've been talking about the chess game over the last few weeks before it was even mentioned on book 2. We could just see that Tariq was playing a game of chess and if you watch the episodes back over so was Monet playing a game of chess. Monet sent Diana and Drew to get information from Tariq, both of them came back with literally nothing because Tariq is smart, we know this, he's taught by Kanan and his ghost son. Kanan actually taught him the game of chess in Breeze's old house and he taught him to always be two steps ahead of his opponent, but Tariq isn't the only one who likes to be two steps ahead of the opponent. The other one is Monet. Now Monet sent Drew and Diana to get information on Tariq, but neither of them got anything, so with neither of them getting any information, what's Monet's next play? to get Tariq close and get information herself. But remember, Kanan also taught Tariq to always let your enemy think they're one step ahead of you. And will Tariq let his guard down now that Monet said that he's one of them and he's always welcome in their family? Hell no. Tariq won't let his guard down at all. We've seen Tariq make some real smart plays all season long and he's not about to let his guard down now, that's for sure. And let's talk about the chess game because Tariq described Lorenzo as the king, Monet as the queen, Drew as the knight, Kane as the rook and Diane as the bishop. And if any of those come looking for him, knock over the right piece or if it's an emergency, knock over all of the pieces. And he was explaining this to Brayden when he was talking to him in his room, and this is going to be some sort of code for them. And well, I spoke about Kane being described as Rook by Tariq when he was talking to Brayden, and he said that Kane is the one that he needs to worry about. He's the shooter. And I think they're setting up a little bit of animosity between Kane and Tariq. I made a video already about how we eventually will see Kane versus Tariq before book 2 even started, if you guys remember. And well, to Monet, Kane is just a Rook. He moves in a straight line or sideways and does what he's told. We've had Monet telling him to stay in his lane, and that's why Kane is a Rook. He can't jump over the pieces. He basically does what he's told, and he's told to hand his piece to Tariq, and he for sure wasn't happy about it. And as I said before, Tariq isn't the only one who's playing the game of chess, and I think Monet is too. She told Kane to give Tariq his piece, and I don't think it was just because Diana took Tariq's gun. I think she wanted to see Tariq's reaction and the way he handles himself with a piece in his hand because Kane said he's probably never even used one in his life before, but little does he know. And I'm sure Monet clocked the way he handled his gun and she'll know that he's pulled the trigger a few times and Monet is going to be keeping a close eye on him and now the chess game has begun. And well, death predictions for episode 6. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I mentioned it in my review and recap that we've never seen Sax wearing these black gloves. And if you missed my review and recap, then I'll leave a link to it in the description and in the comment section down below. But I just think they're foreshadowing Sax having to get his hands dirty with who he went to see in that moment. And that's Tamika. Despite McLean and Sax making a deal where Sax will cross-examine Tariq and pin the murder of Ghost on Tariq, leaving McLean's client Tasha free, 
I think there's a twist coming up and their deal that they made may not as be as clear cut as it first looks. Sax I think is still going to get rid of Tomika because she's a loose end because she knows Sax was there at truth at the time of the murder and with the added element of Tomika knowing every single shady shit that Sax has done, I think Sax will get his hands dirty and he's going to kill Tomika in the next episode. And I could be wrong of course so if you have any other opinions or any other death predictions then let me know down below and drop me your thoughts on episode 5, drop me your predictions for episode 6, any death predictions, I know it's hard because there's not a normal teaser but let me know your thoughts what we could see in episode 6, drop me your death predictions because I think we're in for a final 5 episodes where quite a few bodies will be dropping so I want to know your death predictions and I'm going to be back tomorrow talking all about Kane versus Tariq and just breaking those two characters down because I'm sure Kane won't like the way Monet is treating Tariq so I'm going to be talking about Kane and Tariq tomorrow so if you haven't done so already and you're new to the channel remember to smash the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.